Reflecting on America's past and present, a critical examination of U.S. foreign policy and its complex legacy. The United States, often hailed as the leader of the free world, has had a tumultuous history marked by both remarkable achievements and regrettable actions. This article provides a critical examination of America's foreign policy, highlighting its historical and contemporary complexities. While acknowledging the nation's positive contributions, it's important to address and learn from its darker chapters. Historical Aggression The expansion of the United States in the 19th century often involved territorial conquests, displacing indigenous populations, and exploitation of resources. This history is marked by the Trail of Tears, the forced removal of Native American tribes, and the acquisition of land through aggressive means. It's essential to acknowledge the atrocities committed during this expansion and the deep impact they've had on indigenous communities, as well as the acknowledgement and restitution that still need to be made. Does this ring a bell to you Palestine-Israel war, right? Israel is doing the same thing to the local population of Palestine as the USA did to the native tribes. International Involvement The US has played a significant role in global war, leading to accusations of militarism and aggression. The wars in Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan have raised concerns about American interventionism. The wars in Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan have indeed raised significant concerns regarding American interventionism and the human toll of these wars. Millions of people have tragically lost their lives, and there have been allegations of war crimes committed. Yet, it's important to address the perception of a double standard in the way the International Criminal Court, ICC, operates concerning powerful nations like the United States. Despite the gravity of these war and the allegations of war crimes, the U.S. has not faced charges by the ICC for criminal activities related to these wars. This has fueled the perception that there are inconsistencies in how international justice is applied. The reasons for this perceived double standard are multifaceted and include issues such as jurisdiction, the role of powerful nations in shaping global politics, and complex legal challenges in attributing culpability in large-scale war. While the ICC is designed to hold individuals accountable for war crimes and other international offenses, its operations are influenced by a combination of legal principles, political considerations, and practical constraints. Addressing this issue requires continued efforts to promote fairness and impartiality in international justice. Calls for reform and a more equitable application of the rule of law on the global stage remain important to ensure that accountability is pursued, regardless of the nationality or power of those involved in war-related crimes. The U.S. has, at times, used military force to advance its interests, often with unintended consequences. Critics argue that more emphasis should be placed on diplomacy and cooperation in resolving international war. Humanitarian Efforts The United States attempts to mitigate the repercussions of its actions by providing economic aid to the families of victims and the affected nations is a subject of considerable debate. The question that arises, Mr. Biden, is whether such monetary compensation can truly redress the loss of lives and the consequences of its policies. While economic aid can be valuable in rebuilding communities and infrastructure, it cannot undo the human suffering, loss, and emotional trauma caused by war. It's crucial to acknowledge the limitations of financial restitution in the face of profound human tragedies. The responsibility to address the ethical and moral dimensions of international actions goes beyond monetary compensation. It necessitates comprehensive efforts to prevent war, protect human rights, and strive for diplomatic solutions that prioritize peace and the well-being of all people affected by global policies and actions. Role in the Middle East U.S. involvement in the Middle East has been particularly contentious. The criticism centers on support for regimes with poor human rights records and the consequences of military interventions. As Israel The U.S. has faced accusations of double standards in its foreign policy, especially in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian war. There is a need for more balanced and consistent approaches to addressing regional war. As we all know, 
with facts and evidence, Israel has not only committed genocide, theft of land, homes, and other usurpations, but in the last few days in Gaza, a child dies every 14 minutes from weapons sold or donated by the USA or the EU used by Israel in the killing of innocent Palestinian children. Plus, Mr. Biden looked like a real clown on his visit, a monster from hell, he congratulated the second Hitler of the 21st century with a hug and refuted the attack on the hospital. And this is the leader of the free world. You are a clown, Mr. Biden, you are committing war crimes against innocent children and innocent people of Palestine. The United States' role in the world is marked by a complex history of successes and failures. Constructive criticism is essential to guide its foreign policy toward a more equitable, peaceful, and humanitarian direction. It's important to remember that America's story is a work in progress, and the nation must war its past while striving for a better future. Regarding the comment about President Biden, who needs to resign, it's essential to engage in political discourse respectfully and substantively. Constructive criticism and dialogue are crucial for addressing the challenges faced by any nation and its leaders.